manufacturing is reacting to Industry 4.0, is trying to understand what it is at the different levels within the different organisations. But in effect, it's bringing a focus that UK needs to act, needs to act now, needs to look at what Industry 4.0 can bring, not just from a number of solutions, but also from the, the values and the benefits and the changes that it can bring to the manufacturing uh, industries in the UK. There's a lot of different ingredients coming together that mean that now is the right time to act. From the internet and the use of the internet, the internet of things, data availability, the fact that we can now produce virtual twins, uh, so we've got the real world and we've got the digital world. It allows companies to do fast fail, to be agile, and to make sure that from a manufacturing point of view, we can break down the silos that have existed between design, engineering, manufacturing, but also internal and external organisations and create ecosystems that can win together and really allow the UK to not only match what's occurring in other countries, but to be a leader in manufacturing. With a lot of the different uh, innovation, energy that's coming from the younger employees, the graduates, the people who are used to the digital economy. We have to use the experience that we've got from many, many years from the management teams together with that enthusiasm, that innovation, that energy and make sure that we can really build something that's sustainable to take the UK industry forward. We can come in and we can work with companies on point solutions or we can look at an end-to-end -end 3D experience. And this is really where companies can see the transformation that can take place and we can really bring the value and the benefits that they will see which will be world leading. We shouldn't be afraid to embrace change. We should make sure we can be agile, we can look at one specific area and then putting that in place will allow us to either fast fail with the solution so that the company can understand that's not the direction, they can work in other areas and then build from that and move forward over a number of weeks, months and years. Digitisation of the manufacturing industry brings the opportunity to look at the challenge of manufacturing in a different way. The tools and the technology available are the ways that transformation could occur. If we only look at the problem of being more efficient of what we do in manufacturing today, we are not solving the bigger problems and tackling the bigger issues of the way and the dynamic changes and opportunity that are available to move forwards. The skills required to do that are the skills that are being taught at our universities and our academies and our schools. And the new generation of, of graduates and skilled engineers that are entering the market will expect to be involved in these transformational change programmes. The ways of efficiency of the past are not the ways that will evolve the sector for the future. More and more of, of the customers I, I, I speak to and academics I, I interact with, the traditional supplier-procurer relationship of, of a supply chain is definitely becoming lesser in value. I'm seeing far more focus on the creation of value and how is that value transcended through the traditional supply chain. Therefore, the ecosystem and the partnership it creates becomes a far stronger relationship based on true partnership, not contractual partnership, that allows innovation to happen and value to go up and down the old-fashioned supply chain. And this is more about the, um, the core competency of a business rather than the product it produces. It's how they produce that product and how they innovate the production of that product as opposed to the product itself. And that knowledge transfer up and down the supply chain uh, value creation framework is what the real hub of the, um, the change that can be. I think more and more manufacturing is becoming part of the discipline of production of value and therefore profit within a business. It's no longer just the end result of the engineering that takes place. It is actually the point of value creation within, within the organisation, where R&D actually becomes reality, where investment actually is delivered. Um, and therefore, the leadership of an organisation is now no longer the siloed model. It's actually an understanding and appreciation of the leadership of all of the functions that sit within the executive team on the business. 
and therefore how the value through the business is accelerated and also um, exploded to create top line and bottom line growth. Thank you.